Master Arcanist, Frith Chronicles Book 6, by Shami Stovall, narrated by Brian Wiggins. Chapter 1. Priorities The last 24 hours had been rough. I stood outside the shattered walls of Thronehold, the capital of the Argo Empire. The cries of the injured and mourning rose with the smoke into the air. The armies, soldiers and arcanists familiar with war, celebrated their victory and the rightful queen's restoration despite the surrounding rubble and bodies. I wanted to rest, to spend time with Eviana and the others, but I didn't have that luxury. I was the World Serpent Arcanist, the Warlord. Too many problems needed my attention. Last night I had killed Theosin, but the Second Ascension had stolen away with his Soul Forge. From what I knew, the God creatures couldn't survive without their Arcanists. The Soul Forge was surely dead, but now its corpse was in the hands of the enemy. The Second Ascension had used the skeleton of the Apoch Dragon to make fearsome weapons, and I had no doubt they had used the Soul Forge for the same villainy. That was a serious threat, but without knowing where the corpse had been taken, there was little I could do about it right now. To make matters worse, several of my friends and family had been infected with the arcane plague during our battles. I had thought the plague was no longer a threat. I had helped a friend, Vethika, bond with a capera, a creature with the power to revert the corrosive damage caused by corrupted magic. Then I had allowed that information to be spread widely. I wanted everyone to be cured. But now Vethika was gone. She had vanished during the battle, and I had every reason to think the Second Ascension had been the ones to take her. Now I had to find a way to help those infected, as well as locate Vethika. The mounting pressure to find the Second Ascension's lair weighed on me. How would we find it? As well as the other god creature I suspected had already bonded. Was that god Arcanist a member of the Second Ascensions? So many problems. Another complication. The Fenris Wolf, a god creature of extraordinary ability, was nearby here in the Argo Empire, somewhere close to Thronehold. Someone had to bond with it, but Queen Ladislava had declared all god creatures in her realm belonged to her. Would she see reason and allow us to send someone into the lair of the wolf? The final problem was a personal one. During the fight for Thronehold, the Soul Forge had used its heinous abilities to steal life from people and then given it to the corpses of mystical creatures. Those corpses, they had risen from the dead. Even Luther. A white heart stood next to me, stomping his golden hooves and shaking his head. Where am I? Why am I here? When he turned to face me, his white fur shone in the bright afternoon light. I don't understand. Arthur, the White Heart, was the eldrin of an assassin who had tried to kill me, Adelgis's sister, Vinay. His golden antlers had been sliced from his head during our fight, but they had grown back during his resurrection, large and pointed, just as glorious as before. I had almost forgotten about him. My mind was on so many other things. Thankfully, Eviana was with me as well. She waited by my side, a look of determination etched onto her face. Her white hair, pulled back in a tight ponytail, fluttered in the wind. Loose strands glittered with a metallic edge, beautiful and mystical, in a way no one else was. Her bluish-purple eyes… Eviana stared at me without saying anything, but I knew she was waiting. I had to decide what to do. Which problem had the highest priority? Rescuing Vethika? Finding someone to bond with the Fenris Wolf? Stopping the Second Ascension from using the body of the Soulforge? Saving Luther. <laughs>